Bitcoin's coming down and I'm still going sky high. So uh, I'll see you guys out there. If I had to name five guys that, will, that I would expect to be up there, I'd say Andy Bright, Bart Ennis, Sam Long, obviously. And a lot of these guys, they come here just for Kona qualifications. They're shit in their pants because they haven't qualified. Shots fired. Right. There's no one really in the race that's, uh, that's a threat, you know. <laughs> We're gonna see how Joe how Joe walks this marathon. That's all I have to say to him. Yeah, baby. I just came, put my life savings down, $50,000, betting on myself this weekend. The odds are in my favor to win, don't you think? Come place your bets, baby. This is mile 103-ish right now, and I feel really, really great about the course. I mean, this is not your average bike course. It's totally legit. I think everyone's gonna have to ride their own pace, but, uh. It's fair, it's honest, it's fun. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna work to all the age groups, I'd say. This loop at 100 to 110 miles is not easy. And uh, save some likes for it. Yeah. So where's Jack? We need the collaboration. Jack's gone out on a four and a half hour ride. Oh. What's he thinking? Yeah, feeling ready there? Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna feel that. I mean, yeah. Carved up, ready for a nap. Calm like a bomb. It's just like an easy little wake up brick that we do to test the gears and run through everything before a race like a ladder where it's say three minutes at like a moderate intensity two minutes at a medium and one minute mad and then back down the other way and then the run it's kind of the same we jump straight on the treadmill at probably Ironman pace a bit faster and then the three minute effort is at that pace and each three minute block is progressively harder down to maybe we we'll want to go much more than 10k pace. This one's just execute the plan, stick to what I do, put blinkers on and focus on a decent solid outcome and find out where we're lacking so that by later in the year for the World Championship we can make adjustments. Still an Ironman so it comes down to energy management all day. You don't want to be left behind but they could also come back in the end of the race. <sighs> Guzzling. <laughs> so hot in this room. <sighs> Yeah, we're at the YMCA right now, and it's with uh, Ironman Foundation. Um, I'm just gonna give a little bit of talk on, um, you know, doing your best, performing your best, or really in anything in life, um, just getting the most out of life. Like this mural says, put the past in the past and focus on um, what you can do each day in the future. And if you put your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit, you can do anything. Yeah, the, the race for change, uh, you know, it's inspiring and, you know, we, it, it's important to, um, you know, keep an open heart and an open mind so we can all um, come together and when people come together, that's where you get the best. You're going to get more out of life.
Maranzini. I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia, and I am a professional triathlete. Um, I'm really privileged to say that right now I am the only Asian American female professional triathlete competing on the Ironman circuit. Um, I'm so happy to be an Asian American woman and to contribute to this field and I want other little girls or uh, you know any other athlete just to see that they can achieve their dreams um, just because we might look different because of our eyes or our skin color or, or maybe our hair color because sometimes it's a little bit darker it doesn't mean that we're any less deserving of what we see other people have out there too. While this is my first pro race, I have nothing to compare it to. I have expectations for myself. I don't want to fall short at the end of the day. I want to be able to you know, put my head on that pillow at night and be happy with my athletic achievements. Uh, for me, the biggest thing was I had a dream of becoming a professional triathlete, and I mean, now I'm here, so it's, it's just an absolute honor. Well, not your average Joe. Joe Skipper has to drink coffee. I'm already celebrating in my wine cellar. That's right, baby. Don't forget to tune in on Ironman Watch on Sunday. It's going to be dynamite.